This plant identifier app makes over $7 million per month and in this video I will show you exactly how much to clone it step by step. The first thing we have to do is to go to Lovable and type our prompt. I wrote, create me an app in which I can upload an image of a plant and it will use AI to identify what plant it is, make the UI look nice and modern and I will click on enter. And that is because our first priority is to get the functionality of the app nailed down first and then we can improve how the app will look like. And boom, Lovable just finished building the app. Let's take a look at it. Over here we can upload an image. Here it tells us how the app actually works. And here we have a home page, about us page and library page which when I click nothing happens. So we definitely need to fix that. But let's first test if this app actually works. I will upload an image and if I scroll down here we can see what plant this is. We can see some information about it, how easy it is to care for it, which is pretty easy, its watering needs, sunlight needs, and growth habits. This is simply amazing, and we just build it with one simple prompt. But now we actually need to mimic all the core functionalities of the picture of this app. How are we gonna do that? Well, we could buy the app from the App Store and actually start using it daily, so we can see what other functions it has, or we can simply go over to ChatGPT and type, hey, I'm making an app lovable that is supposed to be the clone of the picture of this plant identifier app. What are the features I should add to mimic it? Short and concise list, and click on enter. And now ChatGPT will literally give us all the features we need to add in our app to completely mimic the picture of this app. So now that ChatGPT gave us all these features, let's ask it, give me a prompt that I can paste to Lovable that will create all of those features. Take a screenshot of the app Lovable already generated, upload the screenshot to ChatGPT and say Lovable already generated the sections and click on enter. Look at that, ChatGPT literally gave us a prompt which we can literally copy and paste inside Lovable and the only thing we will need to do is to simply click on enter and Lovable will literally implement all these changes in our app for us. And boom, Lovable made all of the changes. Let's check them out. First, I will upload an image of a plant. It successfully analyzed the plant. And if we scroll down here, we can see what plant this is, some information about it, its care level, water needs, sunlight needs, growth habits. And over here, we have the option to add to my garden and to set a care reminder. So if I click on add to my garden, it supposedly was added over here to this section. And if I click on set care reminder, reminder feature will be implemented soon. So we definitely need to fix that. Now let's go over to my garden section and look at that guys. As you guys can see over here, we did manage to save this analysis. So now if we click on set reminder, nothing actually happens. If we click on view details, we can see the details of the analysis. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's go over to a library and here we have a section with different plants. We obviously need to import some actual data because this is obviously dummy data. This can definitely be a very nice section. But what our main priority is, is to actually fix the reminder section so you can actually send us reminders. Let's assume we don't know how to do that. We don't know what to prompt Lovable to do. What we can simply do is literally come over here to Lovable, open the chat mode, which when we enable, it actually allows us to chat with Lovable without it making any actual changes to the code and without costing us generation tokens. So we will literally ask Lovable, hey, how can I actually create a functioning reminder section in which the user can select the date and time in the calendar and the app will send him a notification in his phone. Write me a prompt to do that and click on enter. And now Lovable will literally give us the prompt that we will paste again inside Lovable to actually create a functioning reminder section. And guys, you might notice that I didn't give much thought to the UI of the app. And that is because when you're vibe coding, you always first want to get the core functionality of the app nailed down and then you improve the UI. If you try to do the opposite, you will run to many problems. So I would always advise you to first get the functionality of the app nailed down and then worry about improving the UI. And that is exactly what you are going to do with this app. And Lovable analyzed our whole code and literally gave us all these suggestions of step by step what we should do to actually create a reminder notification section. And if we scroll down over here, you can see we literally have a button when it says implement the plan. So the only thing we have to do is to simply click it and now Lovable will start implementing its own plan. And boom, Lovable just finished making all the changes in the app. So let's test them out. As you can see, we're in the reminder section and over here I have the option to click on new reminder. Here I can select what plant I want to send a reminder on. So for example, let's say I want to set a reminder for snake plant. I don't know what that is, but let's say I do. Title will be to water the plant. We will do it on May 10th at 
53 we will do it on repeat and notes i will not add any notes and we'll do it on this time because right now it's one minute before so let's see if it actually works and i'll click on save reminder reminder was set successfully and let's see if it works as you guys can see it's 7 and 52 pm and boom look at that guys time to water plant as you can see over here and another reminder over here once i actually water the plant i can simply mark it as done mark it as done as well and obviously you can see there are three plants now well before we had only one that is because i actually had to troubleshoot for a little bit and as you can see i wrote a lot of things over here in lovable but basically to explain what happened he wasn't sending them notifications so i basically asked it hey why are you not sending the notifications what's wrong so i basically thought it probably doesn't recognize the time that i'm on so i basically told it that then he said it would implement it it didn't really do a good job so then I basically told it recognize the time that I'm at, which is the Greek time zone because I'm from Greece. And once it recognized that, as you can see I tested with this trick over here, once it recognized the actual time that I'm on, it actually did send us notifications. Which is very cool because this is an actually very advanced feature to build, as you guys saw, like I had trouble with it a lot. But we did manage to build simply by vibe coding and by simply asking the correct questions to the AI and letting it do all the heavy lifting for us. So now we literally have implemented the features inside the picture of this app. But now it's time to make our own app even better than the app we're trying to mimic. So we can either go to ChatGPT or again I will go over to Lovable, enable chat mode and simply type. Now give me some extra features that I can add to this app to make it even better. And I will simply click on enter. And now Lovable will literally give us features we can add in our app to make it even better than the competition. You can obviously use ChatGPT for this. I just chose to use Lovable because it would be just simpler for me to use the same interface. And Bold finished with all of its suggestions. As you can see right here we have plant growth tracking. We have a reminder categories and priority levels. Group reminders by location. Seasonal care calendar. This is very good one. And if you see that I need through all of them all of these recommendations are very good and we can literally add them all in our app to make it even better i will add some of them for the purpose of this video so let's say i want to add plant care statistics i want to add advanced plant information and let's say i also want to add a seasonal care calendar so i want to add these three so i will simply come over here and say hey i want to add 6 10 and 12 give me a prompt of how i can do that and i will simply click on enter and boom lovable made all the changes now it did give me some errors i just had to simply click on fix error twice actually but it did actually manage to fix the errors so let's take a look at the new sections here we have the seasonal care section as you can see here we have our tasks for spring prune winter damage start fertilizing report plants plant summer buds and over here we have a calendar where we can see what tasks we have for each day i obviously have not done any task now that's why it's empty and over here if we go to the statistics section we can see we have statistics about water about care type distribution and about plant activity with all these nice graphs this is simply amazing guys we literally just managed to build it with just typing some simple prompts now there are two very important things we need to do first of all is to actually connect it to an actual database so we can store our data and we don't have fake dummy data as we do right now and the second one is to actually improve the UI and I will show you the best way we can do that with a secret vibe coding hack that literally everyone that vibe codes needs to start using immediately but let's first connect it to an actual database since it is integrated with it lovable so the only thing we have to do is to go over here and click on the superbase icon over here we can see we're in the superbase section if you don't have an account you simply create one it's a very simple process literally takes 30 seconds you literally just spam next 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 and you will have your account in no time and over here we need to select our project we're going to store our data inside so for the purpose of this video we'll create a new project to show you how it is done so we'll click on create new project over here we need to give it a name i will say plants here we need a database password i will give it a password over here we have a region i will select central EU since that's where I'm from you need to select the one that you're closest to and simply click on create new project and boom our project is created and as you can see over here our project status is actually live so now we successfully connected Superbase to our app so now it's time to improve the UI of the app there are two ways we can do that one is to simply come over here and describe exactly how we want the app to look like with every tiny detail and we still probably won't get it 
to look as good as we want or we can do the secret vibe coding hack that I'm about to show you right now which is none other than to go over to Google and simply search for the UI of an app similar to the one that we are currently building. So over here as you can see we have all these options we simply need to find the UI we actually like so let's say for example I like this one all I literally have to do is to simply come over here download this image come back over to Lovable upload it and type make the UI of the app look like the one I uploaded so dark and nice modern design make sure you don't change any of the functions of our app just change the UI guys that's very important you should always include that prompt because if you don't Lovable might actually start changing the functions of the app and replacing them with functions of the app you uploaded so always make sure to stay to Lovable to don't change the functions of our app that is very important and simply click on enter and now lovable will mimic the ui of this app so i will be back with you once it's done and boom look at that guys lovable literally implemented the exact design of the app that i uploaded inside our own app look at this this is simply amazing this looks so good look at all the sections if we go over to the plant library over here exactly is this app as you guys all can see reminders seasonal care this is simply amazing and the data as well I look at this this simply looks great and know that by using the secret vibe coding hack if this video helped you out please type a comment down below it really helps with the youtube algorithm but in any case guys I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you in the next one peace